So what I'm doing here right now is a pre-trip. Every day we have to do one, especially when you're local. And uh, what I'm doing is taking a truck into the city that Mitch brought in here. Uh, he brought it in here a day ago from Salmo. So Mitch is also bringing in another truck today from 80 Mile House. Then he's got to go right back up towards Prince George. So he'll leave his truck here and, and I'll shuttle his truck into the city so that he can head out again and save some time because it's probably three, four hours to take a truck into the city just from home. So I'm saving the guy some time and uh, keeps me local so I can be at the office, deal with stuff as much as I can. Heavy, heavy snow. Didn't expect that coming down here. So they've got to move a few trucks around, so never waste any time sitting around. I actually get things, I'll undo things, get straps, get the lights off and everything right away because time, time is very precious and you don't have much of it so you got to be very efficient, like don't waste any time. So if it takes 15 or 20 minutes to undo all the ratchets and the straps, I always do that while I'm waiting and, and whenever you get to somewhere, most places, you know, they, they need to make room for you to park a truck or do whatever, so it's pretty common. The truck is really badly damaged, it's amazing. Flipped over on a guardrail, and the guardrail is on back. Ah, uh, no, I'm just pulling these straps. The one on top there seems to be hooked on something. I don't know what he put it on, but I've never seen a guy hook up underneath here like that before. Probably about the one under the door here. There's one way up north. Or right on top of the cab. Don't bite jammed up there. I don't know how this is. Never seen a guy strapped underneath the truck. So this stuff, you usually just bungee cord these things together. Hope they don't fly apart. We'll go down the road five miles and we'll stop and check them again. You know, this thing is a mess. So we just dropped off in uh, Abbotsford, our truck. It was a beautiful sunny day and we're halfway back home in Agassiz, coming up Highway 7 for another job and uh, it's just turned to white out conditions. So just the difference between Abbotsford and Hope, you know, in the lower mainland, doesn't get snow very much or bad weather. And uh, now we're back into a full-blown, almost white-out conditions. 